But a lot of you have been asking, how can we support the channel and when are you bringing out merch? You don't think New Zealand and everyone we tell, well, watch out for the smell. It's so bad. We have an epic waterfall in front of us. But let's go get some earthy tones. Seriously guys, the views in New Zealand are just insane. Wow, our first epic sunrise. Just look at that view. Also, guys, guess where we are right now? We are very excited. Okay, ready? Oh, I am so excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, literally, this is the number one thing I've wanted to do in New Zealand. Come to the Hobbiton movie set and we're about to go see it. Ah, I'm so excited. So we made it to Hobbiton. <laughs> just walked in and it's just opened up into the Shire. There's always been a Baggins living here under the hill. Wow. <laughs> It's so big. I think that's Bag End just at the top there. That's the peak to go check out. Details are incredible here. They even got like a notice board. So apparently there's like 40 odd hobbit holes. Most of them are facades, so this is just really to add to the whole feeling of it. There's like a couple, or I think there's only one you can actually go inside. But it's just everything that they've done here. Because you have, you can have a look in the windows, you can see like some kitchen wares, you can see some flowers with a slightly open window. You've got the little seat, which is probably to scale of how small the hobbits would be. And then the flowers are just so beautiful because the gardens just add so much colour. This is a really well done. Just opened up a little bit more and you can slowly see like a road going upwards to Bag End. Also there's like there's a one line in the books where the kids are playing underneath a plum tree and Peter Jackson who directed the movie wanted to put it in there. Plum trees aren't here in New Zealand so you just put that in there, imported it in, planted it there just for a second of the film. That's how much detail he went into. top is amazing. We can see the actual river just over there. Oh, I'm loving it. Can I live here? Yeah. It's Frodo's house. Made it to Bag End <laughs> just on the top. He actually does have the best hobbit hole because look he's got the insane view. The penthouse. Of yeah the yeah. penthouse. <laughs> this is so awesome. Yeah. Apparently you can't go inside. I thought you could but we can take some photos from here. So like they filmed there and you can see Gandalf's pipe just sitting there where he blowed like the little hole and the dragon went through it. Walked up there, of course, this is a facade. I think they filmed the actual <laughs> inside bits with a set. This place is so beautiful. It's like very busy, but it's definitely worth coming down. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just, you were walking in Middle Earth, which is insane. Just to show you guys how small these hobbit holes are, this is me sitting next to them. Like, <laughs> they would be tiny to go inside. Oh, no bell. So fun fact, when they filmed The Lord of the Rings, it was all facades. Like they just built it like a, set, a movie set. And if you've ever been on a movie set or looked into it, it's just like plywood. It's stuff that can be put up and put down very cheaply. But it wasn't until it was The Hobbit that they decided to build this actual set. Guys, this is Sam's house in the movie. Oh, it's the yellow one! Oh, wrong one! <laughs> this one's Sam's house in the movie. Alrighty guys, and now we're heading to our last stop. Right over there across the lake is the Green Dragon, which is the pub from the actual movie. And they built it so you could actually still have drinks there. So we're gonna go and have a Hobbit drink. Apparently there's Hobbit ginger, ginger beer! beer. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're leaving Hobbiton and we're off to have a drink at the pub. Just this 
area is so incredibly beautiful like really just represents New Zealand because it's like the green pastures you're walking through very much as it has this past age full of its own comings and goings alrighty guys so we've just come to the pub and they told us there's four drinks here so there's like an ale a beer an apple cider and a ginger beer which is probably what we're gonna try they brew them here and so this is the only place that you can try these four drinks that's so cool we're just walking across the bridge didn't realize this it's all working like it's literally running just there also if you guys were interested in the main reason Peter Jackson picked this particular place was because of this lake and of course the party tree and then it had the hills they also kind of like that just over there is the mountain range but yeah this is the main reason they picked it and I can see why it just is so beautiful oh it smells good in there <laughs> Wow. This is all from the movie as well. Yeah. There's a fireplace from the movie. Me too. Yes, yes. please. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Enjoy. This looks like a, a good spot to try. Only place in the world to have this ginger beer. Cheers. I think it's better than Bundaberg. <laughs> Hobbit ginger beer. Yeah, sure, yeah. Nothing on Bundaberg. <laughs> Bundaberg's the best. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. I think there's like a secret room in here. Oh. Can we please grab one cheese mouse trap? Cheese mouse trap? I know. <laughs> that one's just oh, that looks amazing. Thank you. So it's called a cheese mouse trap. Um, yeah, because they had like um they have their own little bakery. But this was like a veggie option. So it's like they said it was relish with cheese on top on a big piece of bread. Just love how we're having cheese toasties in this and they filmed here, well, which is so cool. Um, Frodo could have sat here. Frodo could have sat here. And they could have this could have been the table where they're all cheersing and getting drunk on. I'm proud of it. Cheers, Gaffer. Like Alrighty guys, we just got back from Hobbiton and we need to do some fun stuff. <laughs> what are we doing? Ready to have oogles of fun? Yeah! It's Steve, are you ready to do the big one? He's literally about to go Straight from down. up there. All right, good luck, bye. Why are you coming? <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> Hey guys there he goes <laughs> this one looks so insane like what they're up there <laughs> oh my gosh we just came to the top Jess isn't here we've got Katie who's jumping on from California and we're doing it together because I have to have someone come with me <laughs> <laughs> the view is incredible though she looks yeah. like an ant I know she does this Jess just there oh okay guys
Cheers. <laughs> Oh, that was so much fun. That's the best one. Guys, if you do come down here, this is who we used, Ogo. The team there are super awesome. They're really helpful. Go check them out. That literally is the funnest thing we've done in New Zealand so far. Hey, hey, yeah. Alrighty guys, we are ending our time in Rotorua at a traditional Maori village and you just saw like the welcoming part. It was really cool. And now we're going in. being cooked in the traditional Maori way that was that reveal was amazing it's all just sitting there for us but before we're gonna let you leave the house we have one more very special item we'd love to share it is the most famous of all no one is the haka <laughs> Guys, that was so cool. So when we arrived, we were greeted. They did their traditional greeting, which was incredible to see. And then we were invited into the village and they showed us how they would live and operate back in the day. So they showed us their arts and crafts. They showed us some of their weaponry. And that was really awesome. And then we went into the show. They did a traditional haka for us and that building was shaking <laughs> as we watched it, which was insane to see. And then as you guys saw, that they prepared our food the traditional Maori way. So you get, you like hot rocks, you cook it all underground, and then they revealed the food to us. And that is what we're gonna go and eat now. I worked myself up on the appetite, but this has actually been a very interesting cultural experience to kind of learn more about the indigenous people, the Maoris, which is really awesome to learn when you go and travel so you can find out more about like the local people who were here. Trying to get in a cute spot. It's like almost boiling temperatures. Alrighty, jumping to the airport. Just 